Hi guys, this is Adam Hanning here from Floor Masters and Floor Supplies and um, today we're just showing off the 684A. This is a concrete grinding machine, polishing machine from High Tech Grinding. This is Generation 4 machine, uh, 684A. So the 680 means it's 680 millimetre grinding path. That's uh, how wide it is under here between where the uh, heads spin around and the 4A or the 4 is 4 heads and the A is self propelled if we have a look down here um, we can see a gearbox and both those wheels are driven so on the uh, control panel uh, it has a forward and reverse switch and also neutral and so instead of having to push the machine all day you can uh, just use the button and push it and it will go forward or it will go backwards and you just need to steer it. So it takes a lot of strain off the user. Um, the good thing about the four head machines is that two heads spin one way. And I'll see if I can make this. So two heads spin one way and the other two spin the other way, the opposite ones. So it's actually binding itself onto the floor which is a great grinding action but it also balances out um, the forces so the the main gearbox spins in one direction but um, two heads spin one way two heads spin the other way so unlike a traditional three head planetary um, where it tends to want to pull off to one side uh, this does not do that anywhere near as much so um, they're a great machine to use I've been using one for about three years now I've got the remote control which is the 4e version and uh, this is the 4A. So if we have a look here while we've got this, this up, um, this is the head design. So this is designed to take three magnetic uh, traps or, or shoes, whichever way you want to call them, or three ready lock shoes per head. So it's a total of 12 per head. Um, let's give you a quick look at this. So there's a big magnet in the middle and three pins in this case there are three bolts that come through and on the heads or on, on the um, uh, shoes or traps whichever way you want to call them um, it has three holes that line up uh, in this case this is a velcro pad for doing polishing pads and so you just line that up right here Let's see if I can. and that just magnetically holds on there um, the machine comes with some uh, pad protectors uh, just so you don't wreck the velcro when, when they're not in use uh, put these on so changing the heads is really easy the, sh the traps is really easy there's a little space in there you can put a screwdriver in just to lever them up just to uh, break that magnetic hold and done so that's what I do. Um, also comes with a screwdriver that you can do it and this is actually an upgraded one which is double-ended Phillips one end and flat blade the other end um, it's also got all these notches on there that you can put it in I can't do this while I'm holding the camera um, but you can set it to different lengths that's quite cool and a bit there that you can use it like a T-handle so uh, just another few things that come with the machine um, in fact, there's a whole toolkit of goodies in here. Hammers, screwdrivers, uh, crescents, uh, sockets, allen keys, um, just different things. Oh, circlet pliers um, that you can service the machine with or you can just use on site. Uh, while we're over here, we'll have a quick look at the control panel. I've got the machine tilted up still. Uh, so this is our, our forward reverse switch. So you want to go forward, you push it forward. That goes nowhere that goes back there's a little thing you can pull out on the gearbox to disengage the gearbox so you don't have to worry about that uh, we've got an emergency stop we've got your travel speed um, so you can wind that up to go to full speed which is almost a run uh, you've got your head speed you've got your forward reverse uh, underneath here there's a couple of usb ports so if you want to run a camera want to charge your phone um, any of those sort of things you can do that through there and there's a switch there for 
Yeah, right, I have to turn the light on and off. Now what it's got is an LED light, um, which is all wrapped from plastic here, with a magnetic base. So you can stick that anywhere you want. I'll put that back on there just to protect it because this is a machine that's sold. And um, yeah, so while we're here, we'll um, have a look at a few other features uh, underneath the power cord, which is just sitting here. Um, it's got a transport wheel which folds down, locks in with pins uh, and you can wind up the handle and um, just push the machine or it has an onboard battery which will give you around about 25 minutes of uh, propulsion time while it's not plugged into power and when you're plugged into power it will charge it also comes with a separate charger so if the machine hasn't been used for some time and you want to charge the battery you can just plug it in um, so yeah, if you need to get into a site, particularly one that's got a bit of slope or anything like that, um, you can put the wheel down um, and just use the, the motor to um, drive the machine into site. Uh, we also run swing weights, which are here on the side. They go into three positions. Um, I'll stand the machine up soon and show you those. Um, that's in the middle position, which basically is fairly much a neutral position. Um, when they're down on the machine that's full weight on the head and they also swing back a bit to take some weight off the head um, so when you're doing your final polishing and stuff like that or, or running burnishing pads underneath it and you don't want a huge amount of weight that's going to melt your resins or, um, or wreck your uh, burnishing pads you can take that weight off um, so that's quite handy uh, on the side here we've got the release for the handle, the handle can go into numerous positions. Um, also the, the handle bars themselves can spin around into different positions just to uh, match your height and whatever you're comfortable with. And they're quite good, you can stand between those um, and, and control the machine quite well. Uh, it's got three phase plugs, so this is a three phase machine, uh, 9.5 kilowatt uh, WEG motor. Um, is what's running this. So it's a WEG. Um, I think they're one of the biggest motor manufacturers in the world. Um, maybe not as well known for a lot of people, um, but I think they are one of the biggest ones. Um, and they've got service worldwide. Uh, it runs a Delta inverter, which also has worldwide and particularly New Zealand support. Um, so any issues like that, um, we've, we've got support from Delta. Uh, the other thing you can see wrapped around that motor is actually a sling. So if you ever need to lift the machine um, into a site, um, there's some anchor points. One there. Uh, down here on the handle. Another one, and the same on both sides. Um, so you can actually, it actually comes with a sling. So they've thought of a lot of different things um, when making this machine. Um, some of the other things I really love about these machines is their shroud. Um, it has this wear strip on it here, which I haven't worn out um, in the three years I've been using mine. Um, but it sits on the floor. This whole thing um, yeah, come back here. Will, will float with your diamond wear. Um, you can also push it up a little bit when you want to change your diamonds and get into the edge of the, the heads a little bit more. Um, but it floats really well on the floor and, um, and seals really well. I've had situations where I'll turn my back off just to let the dust fall out of the separator. And um, you know you can do that for about a minute or so before you start with too much dust under it to um, for it to control it. But it seals really well. Uh, what else can I tell you about this machine? They're great. Like I said, I've been using one. It's the best best machine I've ever used. Uh, this is the remote control version in New Zealand dollars, around about 18 grand plus GST, uh, which is an absolute bargain for a 680 uh, self-propelled machine. And um, just to give you a bit of a look over here, this is my 4E. So this is the remote control version. Um, so the remote controls in that box there. My lead, slightly different handle. This is an older design, so it's got a different release um, for the handle. Uh, the new one's a little bit better. There's the swing weight. There's my tool bag. As you can see, this one's done a lot of work. And um, that's an awesome machine. So about 25 grand New Zealand for the, um, for the 4E. And um, 
Yeah, I absolutely love it. I look for every opportunity I can to use that thing. It's great. Fits through doorways really easily. Um, these are the Bursi vacuum cleaners we use um, that I run with the 680s. And um, yeah. and there's some of our other vacuums. So we've, I've sold a, uh, 503, a 502 with, not, not the Velo, um, but this one here. I don't know if I can zoom out anymore. No. So anyway, that's a 502, so it's got a separator and a three motor single phase VAP um, that run together on the same cart. And that will keep up with a 680. And um, like I said, you just want to turn it off every now and then because the suction so much that the dust won't fall into the separator, fall out of the separator into the um, Longo pack um, while it's still running. So every now and then you've just got to stop it. But anyway, that's a bit of a rundown. Oh, this is just... Um, this is what we use to store our diamonds in. So it's just a, a box, it's got a nice clear case on it. And um, it's got 12 segments in those. And there's the resins for this customer as well. So, one of our cup wheels. Anyway, there's the 680. What one? Give me a buzz. Get in, get in touch. Adam at floorsupplies.co.nz. The website's floorsupplies.co.nz or you can find us on Facebook, just type in floor supplies and um, you'll find us. Um, yeah, need anything, let us know. Thanks for your time, bye.